Hello viewers, in this video I am going to explain a problem of projection of plane in which a 30-60 set square is given. So first let us uh, see the statement of problem. A 30-60 set square has its shorter side 50 mm long and it is in HP. The top view of the set square is an isosceles triangle and hypotenuse of the set square is inclined at an angle of 40 degree with VP. Draw the projections. Now see in this uh, problem, uh, uh, as <coughs> usual in the earlier problems we have seen that uh, there are two angles given, one with HP and one with VP. Instead of that, there is only one angle and which is uh, uh, with VP is given, 40 degree with VP. Uh, on 40 degree, the shorter side is there. Uh, so in, in this problem, <coughs> the inclination with HP is not given. Instead of that, uh, in, 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 instead of inclination of the uh, plane with HP, there is some other information uh, which is given uh, is that the top view becomes an isosceles triangle. Okay, so <coughs> first we will uh, uh, understand the given position of the problem. Let us see. This is a 30-60 side square. This angle is 30 degree, this is 60 degree in which this side is of 50 mm, shorter side is of 50 mm. This is the longer one, <coughs> whatever may be the dimension. Now, <coughs> we will consider that the entire plane is resting on HP. Okay, in the next stage, uh, so, so uh, uh, sorry, uh, in the first stage, you will get true shape of this head square in the top view. In the front view, you will get line. In the second stage, it is given that this head square is inclined in such a manner that the top view of this isosceles, uh, the top view of this set square becomes an isosceles triangle. So, what are the possibilities? If you see that, if we keep this side on the HP, there is a possibility of uh, the projection of this set square when this side will become a 50 mm in the projection. Okay, so ultimately 50 and 50 on the projection side. So, that becomes the isosceles triangle. So, uh, instead of the value of the angle, it is uh, given that the top view is uh, top view of this set square become the isosceles triangle. <coughs> so ultimately, you need to first uh, draw an isosceles triangle in the second stage first, and then from the projection, you will get the inclination of this plane surface. In the third stage, it is given that this shorter side is inclined at 40 degree to the VP so simply we need to or, or, or I, I think uh, no, no, not the shorter side but it is given that the hypotenuse is inclined at the angle of 40 degree so whatever may be the angle in the second stage we just need to rotate this figure at the angle of 40 degree for the hypotenuse let us see the solution so you can get the better idea so in the first stage as I said true shape of the shorter side 50 mm and this 30 60 angle you will automatically get the dimension of the longer side then take the projection in the upward direction on the xy line you will get uh, a line view of the set square then <coughs> normally if you have uh, seen the earlier videos uh, normally we uh, were inclining this line at the given angle but in this problem instead of angle the information of this shape is given okay so how we can obtain this we can simply uh, project the lines okay project we can draw the projectors and it is given that the uh, set square becomes uh, isosceles triangle so keep this 50 mm as it is and on this projection line also make this dimension of 50 mm and on the horizontal line mark this uh, distance okay and join it join these two points you will get the isosceles triangle now from these two points extend the lines okay so <coughs> extend this line for, uh, across the xy line for uh, some amount then take dimension from the first stage and cut the arc on this in this manner okay you will automatically get the angle angle with hp now as usual in the third stage what we need to do is we need to rotate this figure but before ro uh, rotation it is given that the hypotenuse is inclined at the angle of 40 degree so 
this is the hypotenuse okay the true dimension of hypotenuse is this and this is the plan of the hypotenuse okay so in the said problem it is given that the hypotenuse is inclined at for at 40 degrees so first make the line of 40 degree on this 40 degree line take dimensions from first stage mark two points on this 40 degree line from the bottom point draw one locus then again take the dimension from the same hypotenuse of the same hypotenuse from the second stage again put the uh, center on this first point and on the locus cut one arc now these two are your reference points which are nothing but in from uh, we have uh, got this from the second stage and we want this dimension uh, so, sorry this point so take this dimension cb from c draw one arc take this dimension ab from a draw another arc intersection will give you point b join this take the projections in upward direction and from this in the rightward direction you will get the final figure so <coughs> uh, what is uh, what was the special thing in this problem is uh, in the normal case we were uh, taking or we were simply copy pasting this figure at the given angle but here what we have done is first we have taken the uh, uh, dimension from the first stage we have made the locus and then we have taken the dimension of the second stage as usual so the special thing was here we have to use this uh, locus uh, <coughs> okay so uh, you may uh, face the question that uh, how how we can, we can know that uh, whether we are going to use this uh, locus method or not for that you see you can simply remember that uh, whichever thing you are going to incline in the third stage if it has the same dimension in the first stage and second stage then no need for uh, going the locus method if it has the different dimension in first and second stage then you have to use the locus method so that is a kind of trick you can say that uh, whether you have to use uh, <coughs> locus method or not so you can see that we in the third stage we have to incline the hypotenuse so hypotenuse has some dimension in the first stage which is not equal to the dimension of the second stage hypotenuse hypotenuse has different dimension in first and second stage so you need to draw a locus and then you have to uh, transfer the figure if the dimensions were to be same and you no need to go for the locus method so that's all you can uh, <clears throat> find the same or you can follow the same things for the uh, whichever shape is uh, given uh, which i have earlier in my general procedure of the projection of planes video i have explained that in uh, whatever may be the problem you can <clears throat> find a common procedure where you first draw true shape and line then you incline the line and uh, uh, whatever figure you get in the second stage you rotate that second stage uh, figure into the third stage and then you go for the projection ultimately you get the final figure that is a common procedure for all the problems of projection of planes thank you